The Set Time Status option under the Action button allows you to set unbuild whip back to time so that you can make changes and stuff like that. If I were to click on these right now, I can't do anything with them because they're all in whip status. But let's say that I wanted to change all of them. I could click here. Or let's just say with Golder Associates, I need to make a change. So I'm going to click here, go back up to the Actions button, set it back to time status. You can see it went back to time. Now let's say I wanted to change the work code to payroll, occupational payroll, changed it, save, and then I could go ahead and whip it again. That's how you change back to time so you can work on unbuild whip. In the time entry calendar, it's a little bit different because you don't have the actions button up here. So you need to find the time this whip that you need to change back to time. Click on this one here, scroll down, set to time status, refresh the screen, and then you can see that it's been set to time. Now if I were to go over to the time entry grid, you can see that I set it to time here. If you like using hotkeys, you can actually click on the line of whip that you'd like to edit. Use your keyboard to type Control alt t for set time. That will change it back to time status. Then make the changes that you want to on that line. Use Control alt s to save the row you are editing. And then Control alt w will set it back to whip.